Hello. Hi, Anne. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, we yeah. can hear yeah. you. How's it going? Talk to us. How's lockdown I'm, I'm, been? It's going well. Hmm. I mean, things have eased up right now, so things are much better, and um, projects have started. But it was it was a it was pretty weird when it, when the whole lockdown thing started because as creatives we're not used to staying in our houses. We just pay for house rent. We're never at home. We're always on sets, making one film or the other and all that. So it was pretty unusual. But it was a good time for me to replenish, to chill a bit, um, to work on new skills and yeah, to become a better actor and a better individual. It was also a good time for me to um, reach out to fa to family members, to people I haven't spoken to in a while, you know? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, amazing. Amazing. So we we already know you're beautiful. That that beautiful individual part, that wasn't you want to add extra to this beautiful that you are, huh? It is extra. It's it's extra. extra. Yeah. <laughs> but there was you know, there's, there's been a lot of controversy in the industry. Um yeah. there's been a lot going on. Um, especially with all these cases of harassment, you know, coming from producers and directors out mm -hmm. there and a lot of people are being very careful with what they say <laughs> okay. online and on air whenever they're having interviews but i just mm -hmm. wanted to get your opinion on what exactly is going on and how we should be reacting to this situation okay so one thing i know for a fact is that um I, I won't i won't shy away from the fact that there is sexual harassment in the industry but the truth is, people are coming out now. People are talking more. So I'm, I believe that there is a decline. I would say for a fact that I have never been sexually harassed. No producer has ever said, oh, mommy, you know, you're beautiful. You have to do this, to do that, and all of that. I mean, this doesn't get to say that the people that have been harassed, it's their fault or oh, because they're beautiful or because they dress in a certain way. The thing is, if anyone wants to mess up, even if you have an hijab covering yourself, they will mess up. But you do not come out or you do not tell people that every other person or every lady or every guy that has made it in the industry is as a result of the fact that they have slept with one person or this person or the other person. To God be the glory, I have gotten to where I have gotten to based on God being behind me my work my craft and everything i have gotten have been on merit and god's grace mm. we've talked about it we're still talking about it the industry has gotten to a point where it cannot be condoned anymore if you know you want to be a stubborn goat filmmaker try it people are going to call you out we're now in a work generation we have social media and we have people to fight for our rights nobody's going to take that anymore Anybody should get whatever it is they deserve based on their craft, not because they are beautiful or they're ugly or they look in a certain way. So yes, the industry is not condoning it anymore. And, we, and we're going to talk. And we're going to keep talking about it until it becomes something that is completely eradicated in our society at large. Mm, 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 so um, mm, question is, mm. um, has there been any collective efforts, maybe from you or groups of actors, um, to try and put things right when it comes to this issue of harassment? Um, is it yes. necessary that there should be such a movement? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, myself, okay, well, when the whole sexual harassment thing broke out in the internet, myself and a couple of other actors who can't condone it, I mean, we kept posting, we kept posting until people kept you know, people were talking about it and all of that. There are foundations that, you know, if you've been sexually harassed or raped or anything like that, you can actually report to them and they will take the necessary measures. Right now, the organizations, I mean, the film bodies, producers association, actors guild and all of that, they've set up big committees, you know, big disciplinary committees where um, there are checks and balances. So if there's any report that any filmmaker is trying to harass you, they will definitely investigate, you know, make, um, the, I mean, nobody's going to just say, oh, X, Y, Z harassed me. And then everybody's just going to say, ah, this person is a rapist. No, 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 no. They're going to definitely make research and they're going to make inquiries to be sure that, you know, whatever it is, 
the person is the compliant the, com the the complainant is talking about is genuine so yes there have been forums that have been set up there have been bodies there have been groups ngos you know that are standing up against sexual harassment beautiful beautiful as in like I, I'm, I'm actually just so i i remember the interview uh with you mm and Tokme. now you did say that you were a private person yeah. but yes, it did I am. kind of feel like there was something that led to you making sure that you became that private person you know it felt like there was some story behind how you decided you know what i'm going to keep everything you know private and keep it <laughs> off the internet and all that uh, even though you are considered a public figure so um tell us that thing that led to you making sure that everything remained private don't leave anything out <laughs> Which, what gist do you want to hear <laughs> Okay, so um, it all started from when I was in school. I studied creative arts. So being in this industry is very intentional for me. And uh, over the years, I also realized that the things, especially in your private life, that you keep private are the things nobody can use against you, are the things that people will value. Do you understand? Are the things that people cannot stand up to just say anything about you. So I told myself that, I would always, I'm, normally I'm a very private person, normally. If I'm at home, I'm always in my house. I'm not that person because I grew up with my mom always saying, stay in your f flat. You know, this kind of thing. Like you go and play and your mom sees you, or your mom gets back before you. You are crying from wherever it is they've come to call you from. Mommy is back. Yeah, so I grew up being a very private um, person because of how my parents raised us. But I've also realized that, you see, we're in an area of social media and the, the, the public eyes, they, are, they want to pry into your private life. They can only know or they can only know the information that you give to them and they can use it against you. If they don't know, they can't say, right? Mm. So I have just made it in a point of duty to keep my private life private because I still want to go out on the street and with the people in my personal life and do whatever it is I want to do without so much attention. I want all of the attention to, I want all of the attention to be on. on Wait, you want all the attention to be on, on you? Is that, that what you said? And my craft. You want all the attention no, to be on, on you? my craft, not on me. So on my craft, on my would, craft. My would you craft. then, <laughs> would you then craft. date someone who's equally um, as popular as you are? A public figure, no, for instance, would you? No, no. I've always said I don't want to be with um anyone who's in the entertainment industry and that's not because i don't respect them or that's not because there are no great guys in the entertainment industry or they've done anything wrong to me it's just that you know because i like to keep my private life i mean i want to be married to someone and nobody knows about it and nobody knows mm -hmm. about you know who this person is also is as a result of the fact that i'm very inquisitive for knowledge so i want to marry someone who is in another field entirely so that when he gets home, he gives me G's about his work and all of that. I give him things. I'm fascinated about the things he does. He's fascinated about the things that I do as well. You, you see, you say, you say the way you are doing like this. Ah, uh, exactly. I'm waiting for the G's. I, I want to be giving my husband G's and he's like, I'm eh, waiting for eh, the G's. Eh. You know I why? Because why? this just leads me to this question. Okay, so you know what? Mm -hmm. Just off the top of your head, mm -hmm. five qualities you look for in the ideal man. Five. Okay. Just five. Number no, one. no, not him. Not him. No, him. not him. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, God fearing. That is, you have to be God fearing. That's it, it's a deal breaker for me. Um, secondly, you have to be goal oriented. You have to be someone who is focused. You have to be someone who is a goal getter. Thirdly, you have to be kind. You have to be someone who is a strong support system. You have to love me. You have to have a, a heart of kindness, not just to me, but to every other person. You see, when a man loves you, it's not enough that he loves you. Does he love the people around him? Is he kind to mm -hmm. someone as little as the, the cleaner, the waiter? Because he might be pretending to you while you're dating, right? But if he's a kind person to everyone, he will be kind to you. 
he would be after a while when the whole jim 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 the old sherry sherry you know the butterflies when they go down you would really appreciate that okay this is a kind man that i have fallen in love with mm. um thirdly mm. oh, number four number four, oh, four. Okay. right mm. i i want someone that we kind of have the same values you know because the bible says can two walk together unless they agree we have to agree on certain things i'm not saying he has to be like me mm-hmm. but um there are certain things that our, our value system should align do you understand we should we should we, sh- we should kind of have like goals that can get us together do you understand yes and then you know i don't mind at all any complexion huh? handsome man <laughs> what is now, you about <laughs> have you do you have any personal um how do you put it now um not preferences um what do you think about celebrity marriages we have a couple of them mm. in in the industry whether music or or movie mm. um do you what do you think about it is it something that you would do mm. no i already oh, no, said no you've already no. answered that you won't <laughs> ah, sorry yeah you won't but what do you think about celebrity marriages anyway um honestly as adults i believe that you can make whatever decision and i believe that whoever it is you choose to spend the rest of your life with you are very certain that yeah. this is your vision partner right so i don't i don't judge people i don't castigate if it's a celebrity you want to be with why not i would only say that just make conscious effort to try to keep your private life private yeah protect your personal space right um because the truth is Whatever information you don't if the, the, the truth is the fans don't want to know so much they will always be inquisitive they would always want to know how many congos of gari you have in your house what you had for breakfast what your love life is like and all of that and the truth is they will some day use it against you but when you've got it yourself and you've got it that union because this, this union is between you and the person not you and the whole world that is what marriage is about i believe so uh, i can only say that it makes sense that if you're with like if you have two entertainers who are married mm-hmm. work more on pushing yourselves as brands as opposed yeah. putting out your personal life yeah. okay mm-hmm. um is it oh, today yeah um diamond in the sky today yes, yes. on netflix, mm-hmm. it's netflix. wow Yes, All right, congratulations you, on that one. Diamonds in the Sky premiering on Netflix today. Today, yes. So this is where you get to tell us all about it and give us loads of spoilers as well. And also I'm the money you're making. Spoilers. <laughs> money I'm, I'm all making. about the I'm money. Actual... Yes. How much did you collect? Please. <laughs> they called it diamonds. They oh. didn't call it gold well, in the sky. Well, they paid me in diamonds, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell we'll us about the movie. I'll we'll get there. Okay, so Diamonds in the Sky is an advocacy film. Diamonds in the Sky is a film that is very very dear to my heart. Not just not just for acting, not but because of the story, because of the cause of it. It's a film that creates awareness and advocates for um enlightenment on cancer. Cervical cancer, um breast cancer, ovarian cancer. Cancer generally because for all you care, cancer is um one third of the 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 biggest diseases that kill people all over the world and to think someone will still die of cancer tomorrow however cancer is not a death sentence it can be prevented some of it can be prevented some of it can actually you, you can actually it can be treated as long as you you have the right information see breast cancer early detection is important cervical cancer early de- uh, early detection is important you can actually treat it you know for cervical cancer for example you you, you can actually prevent it as a woman yeah. if you get if you get the vaccine but a lot of people out there do not have this information they don't know it's high time we have advocacy films films like this that can actually not just educate entertain people but also educate them and empower them because knowledge is wealth there are so many wealthy people sometimes money cannot buy life many times money can't buy life but information can save you 
the market woman out there, does she know how to how to touch her breast to take, to, 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 to detect um, lumps? She probably doesn't know. Does she know that once her child is eight years old, she can actually get the child vac um, she can actually get the child vaccinated, you know, and the child will never have cervical cancer. So many mm. people don't know this. Even people who are educated, they don't know this. And we cannot talk about it enough mm. because mm. it kills people every day. I've had people who have died of cancer and the truth is they did not have to die. Yeah. So this is a project that is not just a project for educating. It's a project that is very passionate. Like, I'm super passionate it about it. Like and it's very, very passionate to you. We can see yeah. that. Yeah, we can. And, yes, and you, start, yes. you started it as the lead act. Mm. Um, but yes, amongst so many big names, I've got the Yay! list here. Yeah. There's Jocke Silva in there, yeah. mm. Bimba Kintana, Tony Abra okay. Abraham. Mm -hmm. um, it was produced by Kunle Afolaya. No, 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 no. As it was directed, directed by, by Kunle Afolaya. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. It was produced by Femi Adebayo for okay, Femi the Adebayo. Lea Foundation. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. What's so experience the, the, with all these yeah. beautiful minds and... Yeah powerhouses in, in movies. Any pressure? Any pressure? Exactly. Especially pressure. that you're the lead act. Ah, no, no. In fact, it was it was like an, an ensemble cast, you know? It was fun being on set with those people. A lot of them I had worked with before. I mean, I was in Kuna Afolayo's Omubuo. Um, I had worked with Femi Adebayo before Diamonds in the Sky. You know, Tony Abraham, I was on her film, um, The Ghost and the Tout. Um, Mommy J, I had worked with her before. Okay, I think it was my first time working with her. Me back until I had worked with her. So it was it was fun on set, and it was it was mostly because we all were there for the cause of the message of the film. So right. there was no oh this person is bigger than this one. It was one big family. We shot in Ilari, by the way. Wow. You know, yes, yes. we shot in Ilari, and it was it was such a beautiful experience every day on set was a beautiful experience. I can imagine. Amazing. Yeah, amazing and I, and I can't wait for so people to see it. We're definitely going to be looking going to see, forward to seeing it. We're going to be going on to Netflix today. Yeah, today. To go today. check mm -hmm. it out. With the missus. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, you know, it's it's always great talking to you. It's always oh, great seeing you. you. It's like you brightened up the studio for us today. <laughs> we were like, feeling so exhausted throughout this week. And then I mean, suddenly, Bimbo really? comes on. And then we're like, oh, wow. I know what it is. What? It's that smile. Look at it. God, I'm blinded. <laughs> okay, stop. You Thank can stop you. now. You can stop now. You can leave now. You can Thank leave. You so much. Yes. Thank you guys for it was me. a little cheesy, but it's not unfounded, really. It is because, um, yeah, you. amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Thank you. Thank and we you can't so wait much. to watch it. It's called yes, Diamonds in the it. Sky, right? Diamonds in the Sky. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So you need to make sure you come to the studio to come see us sometime soon. Please. When the Thank lockdown you. is over. Please, you are invited. You're okay. always welcome. Thank please, you. please, please. Uh, and honestly, just um, keep sharing love, spreading that message because cervical cancer, it's not, it's not something to sneeze at at all. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very, mm -hmm. very big deal. Uh, and yes, women is. need to get te tested, checked mm -hmm. out, and vaccinated as soon as possible. Mm. And I think that message is very key. Much Thank love, you. darling. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, this is Wake Up Nigeria Extra. We are actually on air on TVC from 6 a.m. till 9 a.m. Monday through Friday. It's a live show for three hours on air. And we are also online. We're on the internet. We're on tvcentertainment.tv and, of course, on Facebook at TVC Connect. So make sure you tune to us. And we're going to be playing uh, parts of this interview on Monday uh, so that people oh, can really? hear a lot more about... Uh, your okay. movie as well, okay. and of course, see okay. your beautiful face uh, on TV screens. As <laughs> By the way, well. you guys are doing an amazing job. Three hours in the studio every morning, very early in the morning. It's a lot. It's a lot. So kudos to so you. Guys. And Thank I watch you before. I'm Thank a you. fan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and thanks Thank for taking you. so much time out of your day for us as yes. well. We appreciate you, you darling. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> okay.